so here we need to use c s r f underscore token hey guys welcome in mu sigma classes and today in this lecture we are going to discuss on a very important thing go is why we are not using post request when we are sharing the data with server so in the previous lecture as you can see here in our form.html file you can see by default the request is going with get request and for more confirmation you can see here inside the view.py file we was request we was using get request right in security point of view if we were to talk about the get request and the post request then there is a security point of view is lacking in get request while we are sharing the data with the back end so to prevent the security we can use the post request so in this tutorial we are going to discuss how we can use a post request in django and how we can secure our data so let's get started so as you can see here guys we are using get request we can use here post request right so the very first important thing what i am going to tell you if you are getting this white uh syntax here you can go here and uh, you can search for jinja and the very first uh, you can see here this is so once you will install this and go back to your code so here guys uh, uh, let me just show you the form.html file So now here, uh, so now here you can see we have get type of request, right? So we are fetching the numbers, numbers data uh, using this get request because by default, as you can see here in our form dot html, we uh, our method will be uh, the get request, right? The get type. So uh, we need to understand the concept first. Uh, so when in the front and uh, from the front end whenever you are requesting to the server it is called HTTP request or we have uh, we need to follow the HTTP protocols too at the moment when you are requesting to the back end or the server uh, for some data or you are sharing the data with the back end right so there is something called uh, HTTP protocol we need to follow the HTTP protocol right so there are several types of HTTP requests like get put post delete options so you have a several types of uh, http request so we are interested to uh, to check get request post request put request delete request so delete itself you can see you can you can think on it like delete whenever we want to delete a data we can use the delete request whenever we wanted to update a data we can use the put request and uh, whenever we wanted to post some data into the server then you can basically use uh, the post request. whenever we want data from the back end we can use the get request you are requesting to the back end right so there can be a server and there can be a client so when client is making a request to the server there can be a middle layer so, so there is middle layer so in mid in middle layer any hacker can hack any any hacker can hack the data right so if we we'll talk about the production layer so we have uh, several kind of uh, algorithm like des algorithm rsa algorithm we can use any kind of algorithm and we can encrypt the data whatever the data we are getting and when whatever the data we are pushing to the back end right so using sha and uh, using the algorithm you can encrypt the data and you can share the data to the back end but we are not going to do this we are following the process because in the previous lecture we were using get request we don't need to use the get request there when we are sharing the data with back end right uh, so this is story you need to understand what i am trying to say to you so let's understand how we can make the post request with django so here you can see we have by default get request right so we can make a method there we can make the post request save this file go back here just refresh this file go back and just refresh this file just enter the value and hit enter okay we got an error right but this time error is different right we need to think we need to focus on a point here we need to focus here we got an error but we need to focus here you can see we are requesting 
uh, our method is post right but we are our method is post and we when we are clicking on the submit button you can see we have only the the path right and we don't have uh, uh, the that number values right that we was getting previously so uh, we successfully cleared the first step right so uh, uh, so now we need to clear the second step okay so we need to focus on a very important thing you can see here we are getting uh, you know some error right so you can see here genuine cross site request you can see here django CR, csrf mechanism so, so by default django gives you csrf mechanism it is a middleware and by default django gives you so let's check out so where we can find out this so here uh, inside this project directory we have uh, the setting.py file just go here and uh, and then you are and then you can check here in this line in this highlighted line you can see here we have a csrf view middleware we can use so django says hey user i have already done these things for you you don't need to be worry on it okay so uh, like how we can use it so let's uh, jump into the form.html file and just uh, use my use our jinja pattern like this and just need to say csrf narf underscore token just save this file and just uh, go back and just refresh this file just hit 12 and 12 and submit you can see uh, okay we are getting so csrf csrf token missing is missing or incorrect and we need to use inside this form so here we need to use csrf underscore token that's it and we that's it we just need to go here and just uh, refresh this page again okay just uh, go back and zoom this and then you can see like 12 12 and submit okay you this time we got a different error okay so we are getting an error because of the used get here in this view.py file we need to use post type of request we need to use post method over here Let's save this file, just refresh this file by just go back and then refresh this file 12 and 12 just submit this button and then you can see here we got a result. So this is the power when you are working with the post request you need to use the CSRF token and Django will give you by default CSRF token and you can use like this. You just need to go inside the form where you are making a post request. You need to use this csrf token under in this jinja pattern and then wherever you are fetching the data you need to use the post type of method that says this is all about this video so we'll discuss about uh, other concepts in django so please like share and subscribe this channel thank you so much guys